It is a big celebration for a tradition that goes back more than a century. Yeah, so this afternoon, a group of teenage boys jumped into the spring bayou in Tarpon Springs to get some luck for their families. This is all part of the largest epiphany celebration in the Western Hemisphere. 10 News reporter Phil Buck shows you why it's such a big deal for the community. There's a lot on the line for the young men who partake in the epiphany. According to Greek Orthodox tradition, an entire year of blessings are bestowed upon the one who brings the cross up from the depths of Spring Bayou, a tradition more than 100 years old in this small Greek community. I've been waiting 15 years to come to see this. So this is a national, international event. It's not just, and it's the beginning of our second decade of the 2000s. So this is an event, a once in a lifetime event. With the Prime Minister of Greece attending this year's celebration in person, there was an added sense of importance to this year's event. My son dove last year and uh, it, it, just an amazing experience. It's something that once uh, the boys do it, they can't wait to do it again the next year. But for Hunter Sakadalis, this was his last shot. At 18 years old, this would be his last year diving for the cross. And when the moment came, he was ready. Axios! Axios! How long you been coming to this, like, since you've grown up? Since birth. Yeah, since I've lived here. So all 18 years of my life here. Um, just to be <laughs> to be on the on the other end of this now, it's completely unreal. It's <laughs> And for all the others who came up empty-handed, at least for the younger ones, there's always next year. This was the 114th Epiphany celebration for the Tarpon Springs community. It commemorates the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist.